Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another prediction show where I take on JP uh, every week and JP leads by 32 points to 17. He's won Friday and Monday. We've done our predictions and he leads 7-5 from those. So uh, I'm still under pressure here, to be honest with you. But uh, JP, we'll go with you first for Bohemians and Waterford. Uh, thoughts on this? Interesting one, actually, because uh, you've got uh, Mr. Reynolds, who knows everything about mm -hmm. Waterford. And uh, you've got Keith Long, who might know everything about the current Bowls team, but you know an awful lot about their setup. Um, and that's an intriguing yeah. one, isn't it? Uh, and you'll know some of the players. Is it there already? Mm -hmm. um, some of them that they, uh, I'm not sure if there's too many there that he had while he was there, but I, th I think there, there's probably one or two there. Um, I think there's a good few, actually, to be honest. If I went through them, I won't go through them all, but I, I'd say there's five or six for sure, yeah. Um. Mm. So... As you say, he'll know the setup. Um, he probably will have an idea of how Aaron Reynolds will like the setup, um, because he's obviously been working with him for the last twelve months or so. Um, but I'm going to go for a Bohemians one in this one. I'm going to say three one Bohemians. Yeah, Waterford fans won't be happy with us again this week, JP. Sorry, Waterford fans. <laughs> <laughs> I think Paul's will win it as well. To be honest with you, um, I think that momentum from the win in Galway coming into Daily meant, uh. Of course, Reynolds' first game at Daily Mount, he's had two away games, hasn't he? So um, I just think Waterford are probably struggling a little bit at the moment. I'm not sure if Barry Bagley will be back. Um, I wouldn't be shocked to see them get a draw, by the way, but I'd be oh. surprised if they won it on the night. But uh, that midfield I was talking about in the um, the Premier Division show as well for Bowes, uh, it always looks a bit more settled at McDonnell, um, Clark, and uh, James McManus midfield. So, um, yeah, Bowes will win it for me too. Warford struggling to score goals at the moment. They're not creating chances for Amund. He's the type of player that needs the service rather than he's not going to create much for himself, you know? Um, <laughs> 2 1 sounds good, but I want to go 2 1. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, go on, 1 0 balls. I'll kill myself mm -hmm. if it's 2 1, by the way. Derry Seed and Dundalk. I'll start with this one, though. Derry Seed and Dundalk with the brand new well. Um, no, for him, straight off the bat, I know Derry have struggled the last few games. I'm going to see one winner here. Even Derry playing poorly should win this game. Um, as I said, Dundalk were very poor, have been very poor, but when I've seen them in the flesh against Drotta, they were very, very poor. Um, defensively, though, they were okay in that particular match, I have to say. Johnson and uh, Mayu were very good at the back, but it be interesting to see who Huben plays, though. Um, if he's if he's carrying that injury still, uh, I don't care about the occasion, whatever. Uh, I wouldn't play him. Derry should be able to beat them anyway. To be honest with you, um, if Hooven plays, it might be six 0 and he'll get a double hat trick. That's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, playing on one leg, playing one leg, yeah. Well, don't that get one? They haven't scored really, have they? Nah, they won't score. Three 0 Derry. Yeah, I think this is a game that um, Derry should win. And if we don't win, then whatever pressure has been on Higgins this oh, weekend, definitely, in, actually, yeah. social media, it will be absolutely ramped up mm. uh, tenfold. Um, Could you imagine Dundalk just throw it out there, came and won their first game of the season at the Brandywell? There'd be serious problems. That again. would, that would um, God knows what that could lead to, put it that way. Exactly, um, and I hope for Rory's sake yeah. that we go and we, we won this game and we won it well and we play well. I think if if we go, it'd be interesting to see why he sticks with the system that he implemented yesterday at at Toka Park. Um, if he plays the same way because he we did get a lot of joy from that, mm. or we did get some joy from that. Yeah, but you're likely like, to get more joy from that against Sundock, I think, than Shelburne. Without having any final product. I thought what that allowed Michael Duffy to do was come inside and be effective yesterday. And I think against Dundalk, if he gets that type of chance, they, they come inside and be effective, he, he'll be able to be. Um, where Shelburne, we know, are, are well drilled and well organised. Um, also, Dundalk without Davis is a, an extra weakness to them as well, to be honest with you. Interesting to see what way Rory sets up. Does he go back to the 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 four four three the four three three or or does he stick with what he what he played yesterday um because I thought it was the exact same way that they played down in, in Tala uh, and they were unlucky not to come away with all three points so the 
relatively could say um, they've done well playing that way. Um, and I did have this score in my head before. I, I did have two scores in my head. One of them was 3-0, but the one that I was actually going to go with was 2-0. So mm. it's two, go for 2-0 there. Well, I'd 6-0 in my head, but... <laughs> stay away from that if it's 6-0 by the way could you imagine uh, <laughs> beyond next week oh, for God's sake uh, Drotten and Shelburne always a bit of a meaty game this I think particularly since uh, there were challenges each other for the first division title that time under was it Ian Morris I think yeah and Shelburne came to United Park and won the title there um, it's always yeah. been meaty since last year as well um, was it the last day of the season it was wasn't it how Shelburne got into Europe it was they were 2-0 down at yeah. Weaver's Park That's and they right came they back were, and won 4-2 right? a half I think it was yeah. a half I was there but I think they were 2 down a half time they came back they and won 4-2 right. um, and that ultimately the, 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 the men in that game. yeah that ultimately got them into Europe that's right Um, so you know draw the, yeah again an interesting game draw the, probably haven't scored as many goals as they feel like they could have they scored 5 um, I didn't really mention it in the Premier Division show, but they they should have beaten Pats on the Friday, to be honest, as well. Um, so another game at Weavers Park, an upper, another opportunity for three points. Um, if there is a bug in the Shells camp, if it's as bad yeah. as what Duff is saying, um, that could linger in the Friday. Let's be real as well. Yeah. Um, and they'll be expected to go to draw and get on the ball more. Spread, even more. It's spread yeah. even more. So it could yeah a difficult difficult game. For Shelburne, um, as you say, well, they'll not see it as a difficult game. They, they'll realise it. They, they love mm. going to Weaver's Park. I think they won there a couple of years ago in the first game of the season as well. Like Mark Coyle yeah. that night. Um, I think Drahada might get something out of this, you know. Oh. Um, I was disappointed we with Shelburne mm. yesterday, a team at the top of the league, at a, and as I said that as we know that afterwards Duff had, had said that there was a bug went through the camp. Was that mm. his way of trying to maybe cover up the performance? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. Is he exaggerate? I, I I'd say there's there's definitely an element of truth in it. It's the question yeah. is how bad is it? Bad it is, yeah. yeah. Um I think it's gonna end one all. I think Drahad will get a result out of this. I'm hoping they do. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny because um, I'm actually in the same, same wavelength. I just sense that Drotta will get something out of the game as well. But I think there might be more goals in it. Um, I'll go with 2-2. There seems to be more goals when these play each other for some reason. I don't know why that is because they'd be quite tight generally, can't they, as as you know, units and defensively. Now. And, of course, Drotta the last two games have kept clean sheets, drawn 2-0 nil, or 2 nil nils in their last couple of games. But yeah, no, I, I think I'm in the same way, same wavelength. I think Drotter might sneak a draw here, but uh, I'll go 2 2. Uh, St. Patrick's Leg, Shamrock Rovers on Friday. Now, to be honest, if you'd asked me two days ago, <laughs> I would have said <laughs> Shamrock Rovers would, would win this 3 1 or something. But I wonder if that's a, a turning point for Pats a little bit at least. Now, they could turn up and play well against Rovers and be beaten because Rovers are that type of team. But. I expect Pats to approach the game in a similar vein, you know, that kind of way to the way they're doing in Sligo. I think they'll go with the same team, except Mulraney probably won't play, and Brandon Kavanagh will start. He came on as a sub early. Mulraney went off injured. So I don't see why they change it, you know, that kind of way, unless something happens in the meantime, of course. Rovers, yeah. um, don't think any of their players that are missing at the moment are going to be back, to be fair, either. So they're still missing your Clarks and your Verruges and obviously Jack Byrne. Uh, no doubt... Um, Dara Byrne would relish a goal in this game. <laughs> um, Dara Burns, that is, and he could even be watching this. So, uh, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think I think it'll be a draw, JP. I think Pats might get something out of the game. I'm not sure they'll have I enough. Thinking a draw as well. Beat Rovers. So, I do think Rovers are purring at the moment, but that doesn't mean they're going to win every single game. You know what I mean? They could draw yeah. and then win your next game. One all, I think. I think it'd be. I think it'd be. A, I think it might be a bit of fire in this one. One all could be a good game. I, I was thinking a draw as well, but absolutely no outcome would surprise me in this this this, uh, this game. I you still expect it. Rovers to win it more than I expect Pats to win it. I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah. Still, I could be yeah. wrong. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely in the same yeah. boat as well. Um, I, I think that if 
I don't think it's. I think it is. I think could end up a draw. Mm. I think Rovers are more likely to win it than Pats, but it wouldn't surprise me if Pats came out with 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 a win. Mm. Um, oh, as I said, if they play with a similar way they played on on Monday, they definitely have the an opportunity. Is, that's the thing: is consistency. Can they yeah. bring what they played against Lego and did a yeah. I just game? be a little bit worried, JP. A little bit worried. The back of my head that. John Daly reverts back to this type of tactics he's been using because he's playing Shamrock Rovers. But the fact is, they played Shamrock Rovers in the President's Cup and set off and played a bit like that as well and lost 3 1. So I think you have to go at them. Like, you know, they have players that can hurt teams. Any any team, especially that has players that can hurt the opposition, you have to you have to have an element of um, you know, not be too reactive, I think. Anyway, you know, you saw, you saw how Derry played against them in Tala and almost yeah. came out with three points. Yeah, they they, they attacked them. They they, mm. they they took a game to them. Yeah, it left them exposed at the back and maybe better finishing from from Shama Grovers on the night would have mm. would have saw them as one. But at the same time, better finishing from Derry, they would have been out of sight before. I think it's worse, JP, if you go reactive against the likes of Shama Grovers and you end up losing anyway. That's more frustrating. Yeah. I think. Yeah, we're. Ro- Derry could have been on the side before Rovers got their equaliser. So I think he, some paths to win this game have to try and bring the same type of performance oh, levels yeah. into this that they did against Sligo. And mm. uh, uh, I think you said one all, and I had two all in my head. So I did. I'm going to say two two. <laughs> uh, final game Saturday then is, as you mentioned, the Premier Division show, the Connacht Derby, Sligo and Galway. Both teams coming into only two points between them on the table, but both teams coming into it having suffered, um, I'd say big defeats, pretty much. Like, as Galway were very disappointed with the performance, Caulfield defeats, was. And... I wouldn't say maybe not big defeats, but disappointing defeats, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I suppose Sligo had a big defeat, didn't they? But the question for Sligo coming into the game is, um, I have a feeling McGinty would be all right. Um, he might have had a mild concussion, so he'd probably be okay. Uh, Panacker, I'd say there's no chance he's playing. I mean, if you go off in a stretcher, there's no no way you're playing the next week, surely, and you're down for 10 minutes. So the question is, yeah. for me, how long will you be out for? Yeah, exactly. So that, that's going to be a loss for them generally. generally. Not sure if Wilson will be back. Power definitely won't be back. Galway, funnily enough, aren't missing too many players. That's the other thing maybe you haven't touched on Galway is that um, they tend to not get many injuries for whatever reason. But uh, I can tell you one thing. They won't concede a goal from a set piece in this game, JP. <laughs> Uh, they, they might score, they, they they might score a couple um going by Sligo's defending against some pats from them um they, that they is were, something they will have to be mindful of to be honest though so I got big they, time and with Panaka they, out as well that's another loss there and and if McGinty's out too um mm. uh, yeah Richard Brush is experienced but, yeah, but to be uh, fair I'm going into it but the goal I didn't mention the Premier Show that Melia got was a good strike for Pats but I think McGinty saves that actually Brush is very slow to get down to that. My yeah, opinion. and it's all it's all they, they do with age, I think. Um I know goalkeepers can play into their forties or whatever. Yeah, but you're but it's they, gonna be slower to get down, aren't you? Your yeah. your reaction time yeah. does slow down. Yeah. Um otherwise we'd be playing till we're fifty, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I called two ones and two draws. <laughs> I can't win a home win, actually. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Derry. We went oh, I did go Derry, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bowles, actually, for that matter. Is he away when I haven't gone for? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I was just about to say, I think Galway might nick us. Yeah. Um, um, I'm going to say 1-0 Galway. Yeah, I I think I'm going to stay on the fact that there's going to be no away wins predicted. Um. <laughs> But I'm worried for Sly in terms of who's going to be available and stuff. And uh, we talk about the set pieces and things like that. And you can work on them, etc. But at the same time, Galway are so good from them. They're the best team in the league at them, actually, generally. Um, they also have Ed McCarthy's long trolls. <laughs> Rory, the Rory, the lap of the league. Um, I think Sligo kind of need to get something out of this game, even if it's a point. Do you know that kind of way? We yeah. lost w- well last week. We don't want to look like we're completely derailing here. If they, if they were to lose at home to Galway, then people are saying, ah, they just had a good start and now they're going to slip down near the bottom of the league again. But um, I don't think they will personally anyway, yeah. you know, but that's what people would say. I got for a draw and 
I might be going to this, by the way, on the Saturday as well. So I hope I'm wrong, but I'm going to go for a nil nil draw. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to God I'm wrong. So watch out Sligo if I'm there and it's nil nil. <laughs> Right, JP, we leave it there. I hope to God it. I haven't even beaten you one of the weeks yet. Not one of the weeks. There's a few draws. I've uh, lost a bit of track, so I'm glad you're keeping track. Yeah, I shouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but brilliant. Thanks for coming on. We leave it there. Uh, guys, right. give us a few predictions in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks, Keith.